The experience is something I am personally looking forward to. I can't wait to take it myself. All of the things that I experienced flying the shuttle, all of those phases of flight are there. The boost, the weightlessness, uh, the, the fact that you're up in a pilot seat as opposed to being in the back like a passenger on an airliner. This is more like the right stuff kind of experience. The person who gets a ride on board the Lynx will sit side by side, slightly aft from the pilot. There'll be uh, two sets of controls. Uh, we'll be wearing pressure suits to fly it. It's about a minute after engine light to go supersonic. We anticipate about a 75 degree flight path climb angle that we'll uh, use in our trajectory. Going faster and faster and steeper and steeper. We're going straight up, that's a key element of it. Things happen in a hurry. That altimeter's clicking by pretty darn fast. 70 to 80,000 feet, the sky starts to turn dark. By 100,000 feet, it's gone black. So once we get to main engine cutoff, we'll have a brief period of weightlessness and the arms will kind of float. And then you have several minutes to enjoy the view and, and enjoy for yourself the sensation of being where so few have gone before. We'll get an opportunity to maneuver using the reaction control systems, turn it upside down and pick different attitudes and just hold there. You're going to get a spectacular view be able to see out to the Grand Canyon, all the way down Baja, California, looking out, seeing the sun glint on the Pacific Ocean, and then from there it's just a long glide back home. But looking at the Earth from space, it's virtually life-changing, really the key driver to what will make this experience so special.